Boombra evokes many different emotions and I think just seeing the young people arrive to the beach, seeing the layout of the actual Boombra precinct and, and getting that sense of, I feel special, I feel very valued, I feel um, quite unique in being here today and being able to be given this opportunity to play as part of a, a much larger community event. And just the young people's smiles on their faces and just walking around during the day and, and knowing that they're a part of something really, really special. They get to make new friendships, new connections with other young people, other adults, um, people like Petco Simonaceva, you know, where they're able to step through a process where they might be able to realise some opportunities for schooling or for further training outside of their community in time as they grow older. Broomba for me is a celebration, it's a celebration of uh, sport and culture for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people to bring the young people together both within their community uh, surrounds and then bring them to a central location like here on the Gold Coast. For the participants that attend this weekend, uh, it's all about the journey and the journey starts in their, in their community. So while they're training, they're forming their team, they're learning leadership, they're learning to work as a team. We learn to care for each other. They are important skills that they will bring here to the Gold Coast and they'll take back and be leaders in their own communities. I think for the boys and girls competing out there on the sand, it's all about, I guess, building those friendships, um, uh, especially the confidence too. Um, you see through the day, uh, everyone's a little bit shy and a bit tentative, but once uh, they get into the action, uh, you can just see uh, you know, what it means to, to, uh, to the kids um, in their um, energy levels, and, and no doubt building those friendships, which is, which is so important. Um, it's those aspects that they take back to their communities um, and helps them you know, be better people and obviously uh, better leaders as well. I just love the fact that you know we're giving uh, kids an opportunity to, I guess, broaden their horizons to, to come to the Gold Coast um, and to participate in what is a magnificent event. And it's great to see uh, I guess their natural athleticism on show. Um, it, it's no wonder the crowds flock. I love seeing the tourists that come by and I just, I guess, mesmerised by, uh, I guess, the, 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 the speed and the skill of our boys and girls out there. So uh, it's wonderful to see. When considering why Boonborough is such an important uh, element of our organisation uh, across Queensland, there's a number of things that immediately come to mind. The first one is, is that a big part of our role is to develop leaders of the future and leaders need broad horizons. And if we take these young people out of their communities where they spend the majority of their town, expose them to young people from other communities, good competition, good friendships, and a new location such as the Gold Coast, we get people with broader horizons and they make excellent leaders in the future.